Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and optimize The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered for your PC to make sure that you fix all kind of lags, shutter, frame drops. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, settings and for that simply search for settings on your pc and once you're here head down to personalization over here you have to head over to the color section and then you want to have to turn off transparency effects it is very crucial to disable this setting off because it will help you to get rid of transparency effects on your file management and other windows after that head down to gaming and then head over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar turned off will help you to disable any kind of overlay services run by game bar which will help you to improve your fps as well go back to gaming head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on i have noted it multiple times that game mode turned on will optimize your pc by turning off things and applications off in the background allowing you to gain some extra performance right after that you'll find graphic settings head over to that and then what you have to do is simply enable optimizations for windowed games this will help you to reduce input latency in the games which uses advanced features like frame generation so that click on advanced graphic settings and over here you have to ensure that hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on this setting is responsible to utilize your graphic card to render the game. Once that is done, you wanna have to head over to Steam, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. After that, you wanna have to copy this file path, then come back, click on add desktop app over here, paste this file path in and then you'll find something called tlou-ii, that is 2.exe, simply click on the add button. Then you wanna have to scroll down a bit, select the application and then with the GPU preference, select high performance. You wanna have to click on this settings again and then add the tlou double i with another one over here click on the add button scroll a bit down and then select that and then over here select high performance once again once that is done you can simply close your settings well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key i however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since i do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it i can literally get a windows key for a huge discount generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25 percent off at just 1631 and you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below next step is compatibility settings and for that you wanna have to come back to the same folder where we have made the changes and copy the file path you're gonna have to scroll a bit down until you find both of these exe files which we have made changes in right click on them head over to properties select compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization click on apply and then do the same thing with the part one again over here head over to properties compatibility and then disable full screen optimizations click on apply click on ok and this will reduce a lot of input latency if you are using frame generation next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy the setting will only be available for windows pro users once you open it up head over to computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy right over here you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background this is set to not configured right now so what you guys have to do is double click to open this thing up and make sure that the policy is enabled but that default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will ensure that all of the applications that is set to run in the background is disabled once that is done click on the ok button and then close it next step is system configuration and for that simply search for system configuration on your pc and open it up over here head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option 
Then click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on OK. Then what you guys have to do is click on the apply button. Then head over to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft service. And over here I would recommend you guys to disable all kind of fan control service, RGB service, browser update service and other services related to applications which you do not use frequently. Once you disable those services, click on the apply button once again and that should be it. Simply close this. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point over here and then scroll a bit down until you find your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it something that you can remember. I would recommend you to name it LOU just to remember this restore point. Click on the create button and then wait until it's done. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once this is done, click on the close button and then close system properties. Alright, next step is downloading the last of us 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack is really really important and I would not recommend you guys to skip this. Over here, you'll find in 5 simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is our CPU priority. Over here, I have left priorities for both AMD and Intel CPU, so if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority and vice versa. Once again, this priority will help you to optimize your CPU's D word values which will help you to enhance the performance of your processor. After that, second folder does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32GB RAM for myself so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it from this presets. Once again, if that doesn't work out well or if you guys are not getting the performance you achieve, once again, if you are not achieving the performance you needed, you can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the most important one which is the last of us to priority. Over here, you wanna have to open it up and then for above normal and high priority, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. This priority will also help you to stop black screen issues and crashing in the game. After that, fourth folder is the disable unwanted services in which I have left a few services which are really useless on your PC. You can start double clicking and disabling every single one of them. I have already done it so I would skip it. These are unnecessary services which consumes a lot of CPU in the background. Next is this. Next is the useful programs in which I have left three simple tools. The first one is clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will ask you to delete all temporary files off of your PC and with a single press on any keyboard button, it will delete every single one of them. I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Second one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0 and we use this application to set up the correct interrupt priority for our graphic card. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Once this app opens up, what you guys have to do is look for your graphic card in this list. Once you find it, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. This will ensure that your GPU can handle more interrupts and prioritize them which will help you to increase the performance and reduce the render latency. Last is quick CPU setup. I have left the setup file you can double click to install it and then open up quick CPU on your PC. Once again quick CPU is a really useful tool which will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. What you guys have to do is firstly head over to the power plan and then select high performance or ultimate performance if that is available for your PC. Do not forget to click on set as active and this will help you to disable core parking on your PC. Once again if you see all of these indexes make sure that it is set to 100% and then click on the apply button over here once that is done what you guys can do is simply close this application and also close the fps pack the next step is defragmenting your disk drives and for that simply search for defrag and optimize your disk and over here simply open it up what you guys have to do is locate your local disk c and over here click on the optimize button if this is a solid state drive it will help you to trim your ssd and if it is a hard disk drive it will help you to fragment it either ways it will help you to create more storage on your disk and help you to optimize the performance of your disk drives this will help you to fix micro stutters and black screen issues if they are causing any. Once that is done, click on the change settings button over here and then click on run a schedule and set it to weekly. After that, click on OK and then close it. Once all of that is done, click on the play button and then the launcher will open right in front of you. Here comes the next step that is the launcher settings. Right over here, head down to the options settings and in the display one, make sure that you are using your native monitor. Window mode is set to full screen, aspect ratio should be auto and display resolution should be your native display resolution. Cinematic pillar boxes, I would recommend you guys to turn this thing on. Brightness 
and HUD brightness, both of them is actually your own preference. Most important part comes over here, upscaling method. You guys can go with FSR 3.1.0 or DLSS. Both of them works absolutely perfect. I personally recommend you guys to go with FSR 3.1.0. Then for the upscaling sharpness, go with 5. Nvidia Reflex low latency if that is available for you, go with on plus boost. Frame generation, go with FSR frame generation and dynamic resolution scaling, go with 60 or 75 if your PC allows that. Then VSync should be turned off. Head down to your graphic settings and over here copy the exact same graphic settings which I have copied over here. This will help you to open up your game at least if your game crashes right after it opens up. Once again, if all of these things cannot open up your game still, select very low presets over here and then try to open your game. Once you open it up, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head down to options over here. In that you have to go to display settings at first and then you have to make sure you use display mode and over here for display i would recommend you guys to go with your native display for window mode always go with full screen aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio display resolution i have gone with native display resolution over here vsync i have turned it off frame rate cap slided it all the way up to max anti-aliasing mode go with dlaa or AMD FSR if that is available for you. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency if that is available for you, go with On Plus Boost. AMD Anti Lag is not available for me, but if it is available for you, use AMD Anti Lag 2. Frame generation, I have gone with FSR frame generation over here, and upscaling method, I've gone with DLSS. However, I can also use FSR 3.1.0, that will give me better FPS over here. Upscale quality, I've gone with dynamic, and upscale sharpness, I've gone with 5. Dynamic resolution scaling, I've gone with 60 cinematic pillar boxes you guys can keep it on and once that is done apply the changes by pressing the F button on your keyboard then click on yes after that go back head over to graphics and over here for the preset I have gone with custom level of detail I have gone with medium texture quality you guys can go with high but that is going to use your GPU and your VRAM by a ton so if high doesn't work out well for you guys you can go with medium and that will help you to gain some extra FPS I prefer high texture filtering go with 2x anisotropic you guys can also go with 4x anisotropic if your GPU allows that shadow quality medium screen space shadows low image based lighting off bounce lighting off ambient occlusion off anything related to ambient occlusion you guys have to turn this thing off because it consumes a lot of fps screen space reflections low real time reflections off real time cloud shadow reflections off screen space subsurface scattering cinematics only refraction quality medium depth of field should be turned off and motion blur intensity everything related to motion blur should also be turned off bloom i have gone with on because it adds a little bit of real world camera lenses but you guys can turn it off if it gives you a lot of fps issues particle density go with medium volumetric effects quality and anything related to volumetric you wanna have to go with low this is a major gpu and cpu consumers in every game lens flare i've gone with half resolution and after that field of view leave it as it is camera shake reduce it down to three chromatic aberration and all of the other intensities go with 7. This will ensure that you get the cinematic look of the game because less camera shake will reduce less FPS. Once that is done, press your escape key and go back to your game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Firefox and peace out.